wrestling fans, this is a super. As you may know me, I am Andy Kwan. With me is the editor and chief of WrestlingTruth.com, Keelan Balderson. Howdy. And our main event is not the Monday Night Wars, it's the fact that I will be 19 years old when this finally airs. Oh, you, you'll, have a, you'll have a midlife crisis soon. I'm petrified about turning 20. Yeah, TNA's having a bit like crisis at the minute, so, yeah. joking we're not going to be talking about me being 19 of course something very historic happened over the past week the monday night wars returned um with tna going head to head with wwe Yay. and they only got a 1.0 rating zero which is quite Shit. strange considering mm. they they get higher than that anyway <laughs> yeah it's just weird now those that are wondering where Liam is, he's somewhere, we don't know where he is, and we got this funny feeling that it's going to be like the same, let's find Keelan scenario all over again, <laughs> but oh well, well, we'll see what happens. So, TNA, um, yeah, it was shit, and so was Raw, yeah. I think they kind, now, they kind of crammed far too much in, and didn't hype, hype it up enough, it was just kind of... Yeah, Sting's back, RVD's here, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I can't mm. remember anything that I just watched. It was too well, to be, to be official, uh, Monday Night Raw scored a 3.4 rating, and as we said, TNA Impact, be the change or whatever it is now, scored a 1.0 rating. Basically, both shows lost ratings from the previous week, which is a bit odd. Unless there was some kind of super... Football game or something that we don't know about because we're British. Well, that Ring of Honor was just that good. <laughs> that people just decided not to watch. Um, well, t the, the TNA Impact rating is to be uh, considered a major disappointment, considering the show had the ingrained returns of Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair, and that the final Thursday Night Impact got a much higher rating. Here's the thing: Impact on a Thursday was at a time slot where there is no other wrestling programming. So, of course, their rating is going to be higher. And to say it's a disappointment, well, what were they expecting? Just to get, like, a 4.4 overnight? It's, it, it just weren't going to happen. I mean, it, w it wouldn't be any higher than the rating they had before. So, you know, why don't they just keep it on 1. Thursday 1. and just put on a good show? You don't have to go head-to-head. -head. I know it creates a sort of fake Monday Night Wars thing that they can market, but oh, I'm just, not convinced. Yeah. Well, here's the weirdest thing still. The Thursday Night Replay also got a 1.0. <laughs> so, so, what does that mean? Does the, the same fans think, fuck, I've got to watch this again? Or I, I think like, I think it's just they paid the uh, Boba the Love Sponge army just to tune in on every every show, so it's always going to be a 1.0. <laughs> Talking of Bubba's shitty fans, is it me, or was half the crowd that night just plads? They were all just plads. Probably. They, they were on the, uh, when Hulk returned. They had like a whole row of girls wearing Hulk t-shirts, and it's like, what? Y you're not a young girl loving Hulk Hogan, are you? He's not Jeff Hart. No. <laughs> oh my god, it's Jeff! I love you, Jeff! Wrong Jeff, sorry. Um, yeah, that's funny. Jeff, he's like... 30, I don't know, 38 or something. He still looks like a teenager and he's got loads of teenage girls after him. Doesn't make sense to me. No. Where are we going wrong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, talking of where TNA's going wrong, um, the highest rating, the, well, the, well, sorry, the highest point that Impact had had nothing to do with Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair. Oh, what a surprise. So, I don't know. Well, uh, it, was it the knockout? have a quick read. <laughs> I should have read this. <laughs> uh, diddly 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 dee. No, it was the part where RVD and Sting um, 
and um, uh, I suppose that makes and sense. it was the beautiful and it was the beautiful people's win yeah so yeah that's the thing with TNA historically all of their highest rated segments have always been the knockouts that's because the beautiful people are extremely hot exactly but now they they've sort of cut back on giving them ring time mm. which is a bit and when you strange. when you compare with uh, Raw's lowest segment which featured the Divas match and Chris Angel who is a fucking freak of nature and shouldn't be on my TV ever again oh he's that I didn't watch it but he's that crazy magician guy right yeah, I've never heard of the guy, and then we're like, oh yeah, he's the greatest magician of our time, of our generation, and of all time, and oh, shut up, Cole, you dick. What, what did he actually do? Did he like do a trick? Uh, yeah, he kept doing tricks, but here's the problem, we're doing tricks on a wrestling show, right? Wrestling is fake, and it's scripted, so his magic tricks, the idea of magic is that it's like, you're meant to believe that it's not... Yeah. No, sorry, you're meant to believe it's real. So if you're going to do this on a wrestling show, your tr- your tricks and stuff look so much more scripted. Did they have like, like oh. did they have like the wrestlers sort of going, ooh, that's amazing. Yeah, they had, like, really, he did yeah. tricks for the wrestlers. He did, no, he made Jillian Hall's voice disappear. He poured some string out of his eye. And, <laughs> you know, you know the whole, he got like a, oh, fuck. He's got like a, he had a knife or a big spike or something. He put it in a cup. Right. No, Santino put it in a cup, and Chris Angel turned around, and you know, like he crushes magicians, like crush the cups with their hands. Yeah. Did the whole the shit. It was awful. Oh, wow. so. Now, as much as we talk about uh, the shows, what actually happened? So, we'll start with Raw, then, shall we? So that, yeah. I was the only, I'm the only one here, and I was the only one that watched it. So, The Undertaker opened the show, and in their first five minutes, The Undertaker that, yeah, that, yeah, that's down kind to the of, ring. Uh, people like to say WWE aren't bothered about TNA, but I think maybe they were making sure that they, you know, had a serious effect. Yeah, yeah with The Undertaker walking down the ring for the first five minutes, so... Um, so the Undertaker uh, did a promo. Now he's like, Shawn Michaels will, Shawn Michaels' career will rest in da 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 da. Shawn, and then uh, they had a promo. It was really good. And if you haven't seen it? Go watch it now. Well, not now, not now. Don't do it now. Do it later. Yeah. Um, so basically, Gail Kim, Eve, Kelly, Kelly, Alicia Fox, Kaylee, and Maurice all had a match. I what is, what is with Gail Kim lately? It, it seems like she's injured or just sort of... In TNA, she was amazing. And in WWE, she she's just, just seems sluggish. And like, she misses every Yeah, she's just and, there now. It's, she's just there. She does nothing. It's either she's the cool. other women aren't good enough to work with her, or she's just totally forgot how to wrestle. Forgot how to wrestle. Um, so Chris Angel, well, he did a couple of tricks, and he sucks balls. The big, 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 big Miss Show took on John Morrison and R-Truth, which is a match that's going to happen at WrestleMania, so they just did it on Raw, but wait, it ended in disqualification because John Morrison and R-Truth kind of went apeshit, and the ref was completely fucking useless. Wow, what a waste of my time. Awesome. Um, Legacy, Rose, Jimmy Ossie took on Randy Orton. And Lexi would beat up Randy Orton, and they did the Randy Orton pose, which was awesome. Was it a match? Did did they win or what? Yeah, it was a match they won, and yeah. I was gonna say if Orton won, so, that would have just buried them. But yeah. Yeah, that that would have been it. So, oh well. If they uh, weren't Triple buried, Triple H and Sheamus. <laughs> Triple H and uh, Sheamus, they did this weird promo thing. I didn't care. I fast forward. <laughs> Sheamus, what? Su- You've ruined the oh, whole segment. Sh- <laughs> Shit, I just realised that. Oh, fuck. He doesn't do anything. I anymore. believe I... Yeah, he didn't do anything. Well, j- Liam will edit this and just put it... It's fine. Today on Seamus Watch, Seamus was strangely light-coloured in his skin tone. What the fuck? What the fuck? Seamus! So, William Regal took on Evan Bourne in a qualifier match for the Money in the Bank oh, ladder match. Re- Regal should get more matches. He just goes in there and kills everybody, and he loves doing it. Give Regal the title. But Evan Bourne... Yeah. 
Well, <laughs> I don't know. Not really, but... Uh, <laughs> well, Evan Bourne uh, wins, which I spelt wrong. Oh, well. <laughs> so, um, Evan Bourne... Uh, how many times have I said Evan Bourne wins? But the stupid thing was, at the end, Michael Cobb was like, Wow, well, I can't wait for Evan Bourne to do airborne off a ladder. We're never going to see that. Um, so M- Maybe the second rung on the ladder. It's like, oh my god, he's on the second step on the ladder. Airborne. Uh, uh, whatever. John Zeta took on Mr. McMahon in a handicap gauntlet match, which involved Vladimir Kozlov, Jack Swagger, uh, good guy Henry, because he wouldn't hit uh, John Zeta over the head with, like, the ring bell, so Batista came in and speared him with <laughs> Batista. See, I don't, I don't, I don't get this thing with John Cena, because he has his kiddie followers, but the majority of people don't, want to see John Cena in an underdog position. We don't care enough to go, oh, quick, save John Cena. It's, it's not Steve Austin, is it? It's like, it just doesn't work. No. It's just awful. Talking of Steve Austin, did you know tomorrow night, which probably be, won't be tomorrow night when you hear this, <laughs> on my birthday, Stone later. Cold is guest hosting Raw. On my birthday. Yeah! Woo-hoo. Screw you, Liam. What does Stone Cold do for your birthday? Nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then we'll move on to Impact, which th- th- there's a problem. This is why Impact was completely different because Raw is just so formulaic now. It's like, oh, the guest host comes in, yeah. books a match. Here comes the Miz show, and it's like, oh, yeah, that, that's oh. the one thing TNA have got on their side is that we're anticipating who's going to show up, what they're going to do next. It's not necessarily great television, but you're still kind of curious what they're going to do. Yeah, a bit like Tom Bycroft's sexuality. So, um, <laughs> so TNA impacts. <laughs> right, so TNA begins with a new opening song, and it's Ooh, shit. Yeah. Who sings it? Is it a it's proper just, band? I don't, I don't know. Or do they just get someone from MySpace? They, they could have got the Smashing Pumpkins guy. Yeah. I actually really like that song, that uh, something Butterfly song or whatever, and then they totally like ruin it by putting it on TNA. So now whenever I hear the song, I just think of like, I don't know, Rhino Gore or someone. I don't want to think about Rhino Gore or someone. Rhino, <laughs> he sucks. Yeah, what happened to Rhino? Totally. Oh, it's raining. My phone's going off and no one's answering. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to go get it. Oh no, edit. Oh no, oh no, stop now. Yeah, <laughs> phone stops. So, um. <laughs> so basically, the first five minutes, Sting turns heel. Oh my god! Big Sting, why? Is that Sting, the first what? time Sting has been a heel? I think he tried doing it before and it failed miserably. So do it again! Yeah! Good idea, dicks! Oh, the, the, so, the original uh, plan was to have Hogan turn on Abyss. Yeah. But obviously Hogan's gives a fuck got his ego Abyss and anyway. wants to be the king of the world and everyone loves Hogan. Hogan! Hogan sucks! <laughs> You're so, um, no, it was... What they did was they, they decided to do the main event way, which... Which okay. was... Weird, I don't know. Which no one really... T- I don't know. It was pretty poor. Yeah. Join the match, the lights go out, he goes Oh my god, it's Sting! It's like, oh my god, Sting! Sting's gonna hit Ric Flair and AJ! Yeah! Yeah! What? No! What's Not for on? nothing, but Ric Flair, I mean, yeah, he can still go to a certain degree, but 
Put a shirt on. For the love of God, you saggy prick! We're, we're, we're in the HD now, seriously. Oh, God, they sag. So bad. Look at his, his chest, right? Not anything else. Not anything else. Chest is chest. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? So, uh, Ricky Kazarian took on Christopher okay. Daniels. And, uh, William Reek. What the fuck is wrong with me today? Uh, fuck, what's his name? Doug Williams, that's it. For the for strange enough for Doug's exhibition title, uh, Eric Bischoff came out and said, "No, Doug, your belt's on the line now for no reason." And Kazarian, your time shows now. I don't, I don't, I don't now. see. I don't see what they see in Kazarian. Nothing. I mean, the 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 thing was they said they took him out of the suicide character because they thought he had a good look, which I, I to me it looks like some kind of sleaze bag. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not exactly great on the mic. I don't get it. I don't get what they see in him. He's all right in the ring, but I don't get it. Well, they care about him so much that they didn't put the tile on him. And then Shannon Moore, who no one gives a fuck about, and yeah, just swoops in and gets over. a title shot. Yeah, you have a title shot now. now. What? Is it, was he on the whole the, the, the audience, the audience didn't even react to him, really, did they? They didn't even fucking know who he was. No one knows. <laughs> was he on the Hulkamania tour? I don't know. Probably. Oh, please he, be the he went, last. The thing is, he, he, went, he was in TNA once. For Can like a say? day. A day, yeah. and then WWE rang, and then he just left. It's uh, surprising that they actually want him back. It's just terrible. I, I don't think... I don't even think I they guess knew it, what they were doing with Kazarian. It's almost like, here, have a match of the pay-per-view. Actually, don't. Uh, we'll give it a Shannon Moore. Uh, Kazarian, yeah, you're gonna be in a ladder match. Uh, no, you're not. Wait, uh, uh, I don't really. It's like, please, have some kind of direction, TNA, and then run with it. Go with it, for fuck's sake. Christ. It's like, since Bischoff and Hogan have taken over, they don't seem to know what they want to do. Yeah, that, that's the. Oh. There, was a, there was a report, I think, out from the Wrestling Observer that since Hogan and Bischoff came in, they've sort of. It's kind of like old WCW where they'd write the show that night and change it like ten times in the night. And, you know, to book a good wrestling show, you need to know where you're going, who you want to get over, and then build towards it. You can't just go, right, we're going to do this, 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 this. Because Crash TV does not work anymore. It was alright for like a year in the Attitude Era and everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god, all this crazy stuff. But you can't do it all the time forever. Well... I don't know. It, it, I mean, during the night as well, there was just, there's so many botches to do with uh, production. Well, I remember Kevin Nash and Eric Young were about to come out, and they they panned for some reason to backstage where Eric Bischoff was sat in a chair reading a script. <laughs> Seriously, he was reading a script, and you're like, wait a minute, was that meant to happen? Because ironically... Oh, maybe During it's one of them the swerve things where it's like, oh, anything can happen on live TV. So, Doesn't uh, mean you have to do it. I don't think he was meant to do it. I think it was like, oh, fuck, we weren't meant to pan. Oh, to that, that, remi Shit. that reminds me of WCW. There was one episode where Chris Jericho, the, the, there was a storyline where they wouldn't let him in the building. And he was banging on the door, like, let me in the building, let me in the building. <laughs> and then somebody further down, like, the corridor... Or like, well, the outside, further down the wall, opened another door. Say, oh, you can come in here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, nice people. I and then people. someone opened the door, and he had to pretend that it was still locked, so he like shut it again. And was like, oh, let me. <laughs> and then that um, who is it? He was managed by. Oh God knows. He was. I think he showed up in Shikara. Oh, what's his face? I don't know. Some strange gimmick, you know, like he was sort of Mr. Freeze or something weird. Glazier! Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Chased him out of the building. Well, he was chasing him, and then the camera then cut, could, yeah, and could, then they just stopped. <laughs> oh, WCW, good time. So, um, the beautiful people are the new Knockouts Tag Team Champions, and those belts still don't have any, like, relevance yeah. whatsoever. So, Neither does the global title. What's that about? Well, Why is it? Apparently it's like on if, if you want a title, if you want a title sort of 
for the house shows where you know like when you're going around into England and different countries fair enough but why bring it on TV makes no I sense no idea. and what makes it worse I think Eric Eric Bischoff said something about the global title he said what the fuck is the difference between a global yeah. title and a world yeah, I saw title that. Yeah. he said there he doesn't know so why why is he continuing it I think wasn't it sort of it went from the they did a video package, didn't they? And they, they tried to make out that the Legends title became the Global title. I don't remember that happening. Yeah, I, I don't care. I think it was... This is what I mean. There's so much discontinuity between everything. It's like the idea of the Global title was that it was a part of World Elite. It was oh, like right. their big title. But since everything's gone yeah, to it's shit... It's more of a prop. It sort of degrades all the other titles. Why do they need a what? What they they could have had like a a World Cup or something. Well, the, Why did it have to be a title? Well, the, I don't know. The idea behind it was that Eric Young was not going to defend it on American soil. Mm. But this is bollocks because World Elite doesn't exist anymore, so the title shouldn't exist, but it does. Why? I don't know. This company, explain, company, explain. And Rob Terry, not for nothing, but. He was trained by the Dudley boys. I'm pretty sure he's not, he's not like ready yet. Why is he in my ring on my television? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where the fuck is Rob Terry? If this belt is actually like it means anything, where in the fuck is Rob Terry on my TV? I don't want to actually see him, but like, fuck. Please make up your mind, TNA. What you're doing? I think there's a reason why uh, didn't wasn't he in WWE development and decided to leave and join the Dudleys because they offered him a job in TNA. I think there's a reason. I don't think he would have even made it on WWE. I know WWE pushes big men, but he's just not Good. got any talent. Yeah, talking people have no talent. Sean Waltman and Eric Young kind of. What the hell has happened to Waltman? I don't know. He can't. He can't even walk anymore. He just has to hop everywhere. It's like is he on my TV, you greasy head twat? And you can tell, he, you know, since he got off roids, he just doesn't even look like a wrestler. No, he's like a random hobo. And the stupid thing is, why is Scott Hall there as well? It's like, hey yo, yeah, he said two words. Yeah, and he can't take a bump for shit. He, yeah, he, can, he can barely walk as well. It's like, oh no. Yeah, th that's almost a dream match. I can't believe they gave that away straight away. Who's playing this shit? You are an obnoxious prick, you know? I am back! Did you miss Wonderful. me? Wonderful. We were actually talking about something and he goes, Who's the doers? Okay, so we we'll have a good show. Um, yeah. back. What right, did I miss? Let's start, okay, the, let's start the show again. Hello, ladies Peace and gentlemen. Off. I am oh, your fuck host. Off. We're not doing it again. Fuck yeah, off. Come on, let's start right. it. What's the headline? Sting. I'm 19. Well Sting done. What's the headline? Shut up. <laughs> oh, I bet you guys. I bet you guys have missed me. No. I am. Wait, 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 wait. I am the whole effing show. No, you're not. What do you say, Keelan? Shut up. So, okay, so this is me who's from Bad Down Street, really shit. It's like, Raw Bad Down, the whole effing show, Fan Terminator. They, they tried to, yeah, I was listening to it, they tried to, it's, they kept repeating Rob Fern down, but it wasn't in a way that the crowd could actually chant to it. Rob Fern down! The whole effing town! Rob Fern down! The whole effing town!
Smoke we now. Yeah, that's when TNA's failed at big time is entrance music. It's like the boss Bobby Lashley. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> what's he got to do? What's he got to do with a car? Got it's like the boss that. Bobby Lashley. Da, 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 I like to drive a car. <laughs> da, 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 I like to drive a car. Fuck off. I think yeah. the only theme song that's decent is Kurt Angle's. I wish they'd decide what theme tune Hulk Hogan is actually going to use. I hate this crap, this crappy fake Japanese version of the NWO theme. <laughs> and then Abyss comes out to his old theme. It's like, what are you doing? Mick, Mick, Mick. I love you, Mick. I like you, Mick. Mick, 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 Mick. I got special powers. I got special powers with my ring. Oh my god, look at my ring. Wow, Sting, wow. Have you, have you been eating too much oh, sugar man. again, Andy? Yes. So, uh, talking of people eating too much sugar, Kurt Angle and the troops beat up Mr. Anderson! Anderson! Anderson. Oh, no. Oh, the troops thing. I was throwing stuff at the oh, telly. What a load of bollocks shit. that yeah, was. Kurt Angle, he's a patriot. Da, 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 da. Fuck Kurt Angle. Oh. Whoa, I'm going to have to go eat now. Crazy All noises. Right, then. What the fuck? Uh, oh, is it one two? one host goes and another yeah. enters. That's the way the show. Yeah, you know, it's very casual. The show. Just come and go. Yeah, so, we, I'm in my underpants at the moment, so it's a bit, you know, that's how casual. I'm gonna have to eat. I can't. Pro I can't promise that I'll be back because I don't know. I no. need to be ready for eight. But yeah, because you. I'll let you carry on. Keelan's actually going on the radio, ladies and gentlemen. And he's not going to yeah. plug plug the soup club. Fuck you. Plug it. Plug it. Plug it. Plug. Right, so uh, basically, Jeff Jarrett and Beer Money, who were heels, faced each other for no reason, and then, and then it was the return of Jeff Harvey. Da, 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 da. Jeff Harvey. Jeff Harvey. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So I don't know what happened. What what kind of happened was Jeff Hardy came Harvey, in to Jeff save Harvey. Hogan, Harvey. Hogan and Abyss and the Pope. And then what kind of happened was. Jeff Hardy went to the top rope and they're like, oh no, we've run out of time! So, that's it! Goodbye! Well, even before he could do a swanton bomb, the fucking show had ended. So, at 19 so, bitches, right, so, happy birthday to Andy. Um, and then we're going to talk about TNA much. versus WWE. So, listen. Oh, come on, we just hey, did Hey, I wasn't that. here! Alright, okay, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't. I didn't. No. All right. Okay. Right. Hang on. Let me have a look. Let me have. A, oh yeah, he's frozen. Okay. So. Yeah. I just want to say this. Bob and the Love Sponge, get the fuck off my TV. And Brooke Hogan, you can't act. No go. All right. Okay. Wait. Brooke Hogan was on the show. Yeah, she was on the show. She's like, no, Dad. I don't want you to get hurt, Dad. Mick. No, that was that was that was a miss. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, a bitch just comes and just goes, Mick! At the Mick! end of every. Yeah, but the thing is. Why is right? Brooke Hogan. Alright, oh, no, that's a stupid question. Right. I was gonna ask why she's in the end of the it's obvious. Kept... But fucking hell! Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan kept telling a bitch that, like, we're blood brothers, man. We're blood brothers, brother. Woo! No, that was Ric Flair. I'm, I'm so mixed up with my gimmicks right now. Yeah, you're doing a really bad job today, Andy. Yeah. But I'm the one leading the show this week, so if it's shit, it's not my fault, it's Snitsky's. It's so, not your my fault. fault! So, uh. Exactly, there you go. So, who won the Monday Night Wars? Well, arguably, they were both shit. So, so that's no my one opinion. Won. No one won. TNA was alright, but when Sting. The, uh, a point. Like, the point where. Have you spoken about this? What's the point of speaking about this if you've spoken about it? No, uh, this is the point where I just gave up with Impact. Sting. After Rob Van Dam won his debut, he was really over. He was absolutely incredible. 
I've, but yeah, but I've always liked RVD. RVD's always been one of my top favourite wrestlers. I've yeah, well, that's what that's really what I mean. Good. And uh, Sting basically beat the shit out of him. No, no shit for ten minutes with a baseball bat to the point where Hulk Hogan came out. But the security guards stopped Hulk Hogan from getting in the ring, not stopping Sting from being the fuck out of Rob Van Dam with a weapon. Right. I don't get this shit. Vince Russo logic. <coughs> Oh, uh, well, so... That is Vince Russo logic there, sir. Vince Russo logic. So, if that's So, I mean, what... So, what exactly was uh, Brooke Hogan doing? She was just going, don't go out there, Dad. Yeah, pretty is much. That... And, uh... Yeah, she was just... Whatever two... happened... Is she still a singer, or has she just gone into porn now? Hopefully porn. That's probably what Hogan's saying. Fucking sick freak. I'm sorry, but he has to. He has to be into incest. He has the hots for Brooke. He has to. What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> Any hoozle. Uh So I think that's enough for the Monday Night Wars because it's driving me insane now. All right, so let's uh, talk about the Undertaker's most dangerous matches DVD release. So the Undertaker's gonna get another DVD after. About How many DVDs has, has he had now? In the past ten years, four. Really? Yeah. Fucking hell, mate. In a one disc 3D, in a one free disc DVD set, that makes no sense. How the fuck can you have a one free disc set? Surely well, it's, it's one free set discs. with three discs. It's I one don't, set I don't with care. three DVDs. Shit, he doesn't need another DVD. Don't talk to me about DVDs or films in any way, shape, or form, because I will be you. Don't forget, I am a filmmaker. Fucking hell, my phone. So apparently, uh, The Undertaker... Uh, I dropped my phone and it's broken. No, oh. it's working. Wow, shit. So the hey, do you remember when you were around mine and then I, I lost my wallet and I threw my phone at a wall and I made a complete ass of myself and then I pushed you into a fridge and the fridge beat you up? That was hilarious. And he caught the whole effort show! Anywho. Oh, so, uh, no, it was more like Liam's fridge beat Andy Quan up. Liam's fridge, the whole fucking show! <laughs> Yeah, if anyone didn't know, what to happened? The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if people if people weren't aware, what happened was that a couple of weeks ago, Andy came down to Bournemouth to see me, and uh, we got really, really stupidly drunk. Uh, not a good idea. And I lost my wallet. I still think the fucking wank is down at the fucking takeaway place. I swear to God, right? They fucking stole my wallet. No joke. They stole my fucking wallet, right? Anyway, I come home. I get really, really pissed off. I'm really pissed. Right, and I, Andy. So I had to go. Um, apparently, no, Joey's missing. I don't know what it is. Again. Wait, so I'm doing this by myself? No, you're not going. I just had to leave just then while you were talking. Oh. So okay, I was going to say. Yeah, so, um, I was going to say, the Liam Dunn show! Yeah! But yeah! yeah so, but no, it was, it was his <laughs> mum on the phone. And oh. uh, I, I said that. I can't really follow this up with a funny story. And his mum was on the other end of the I really can't finish my funny story now, can I, after saying someone's gone missing? No, no, you just, you just don't know where it is, it's fine. So, um... The kind, yeah, of, anyway, matches, so... The kind of matches that we're going to expect is a last ride match... Hang on, I wasn't finished with the story of when the fridge beat you up! No, well, I'm, I'm bored of that story now. Basically, no, no I'm up. not. No, so basically, no. Andy then was like, I, I'm, I'm really angry. Andy's trying to calm me down. He's like, no, look, it's, it's your wallet, don't worry. And I'm like, it's my fucking wallet! And he's like, no, it's just your wallet. I'm like, exactly. Anyway, eventually, Andy just stands up and goes, SHUT UP! And, uh... I kind of took it the wrong way, and I It was a Vince him. McMahon impression! How did yeah, you but I did, I was that? Yeah, but I was drunk and I was angry, so I thought you were telling me to shut up. So, <laughs> I push him. Right, I literally push him. And Andy... Yeah, and I took that him. the wrong way, like to say, <laughs> Why the fuck has he pushed me? If that was a classic Vince McMahon line! What's wrong with you? You said... You said, no, when I pushed you, you said, push me one more time, motherfucker, and I will rip your balls off. So guess what I did? God. So guess what I did? Push I me pushed again. him again. <laughs> and this time, into the fridge. Anyway, I've got to go get my dinner, otherwise it's going to burn, so I'll be back in about five minutes. Wait, I'm here on my own? Yeah, the Andy Quan show. Yeah, it's happening! <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, so the Andy Quan show, well, I just talked about me for the next five minutes. I'm here on my Awesome! No, I'm talking about The Undertaker. So, um, the kind of matches that uh, you're going to expect I forgot my plate. I don't have AIDS. Hang on. Oh. Right, okay, now it's the Andy Quan show. We're back in five. I, I, did anyone else hear? Now I'm talking myself. 
Oh shit, I'm talking to myself! Fuck! Okay, whatever. So, um, the kind of matches that you're gonna expect on this DVD, such classics as the Boiler Room Brawl, Concrete Crypt Matches, and Last Ride Matches. Yay! Just complete shit. Now, since I'm on my own, I'm just gonna move on. Uh, Kenny Dykstra was given a dark match on, before Impact on Monday, and we don't know if the Hogan Bischoff regime likes him or not. Oh well. So, as Keelan was mentioned, well, as been, wow, I cannot talk, botch. As, as, shut up, as, God, <laughs> I can't do this on my own, I'm so nervous. Um, as, uh, there was a conflict backstage within TNA as to why the ratings have not been that good since, uh, Hogan and Bischoff came in. One source has said that Hogan isn't a draw as he thinks he is, and the other is that Vince Russo is just a really bad writer. So... Maybe it's just both. Maybe Russo sucks and Hogan sucks. Did you ever think about that, TNA? Um, so, I'm gonna basically... I don't know whether I should keep moving on or not. I don't know. Oh well, I'll just move on anyway. Um, on a very solid note, legendary wrestler Sandy Scott has died at the age of 75 after having a battle with pancreatic cancer. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, Scott is famous for his run in Mid-Atlantic Wrestling after breaking into the business with Stu Hart in Calvary in the 90s. He stayed in the business until the 1990s where he worked for World Championship, World Championship Wrestling and there you go. I mean, I need a second person to talk about this, damn it! Um, I personally don't know that much about him. But anyone that died of cancer is... I mean, cancer is a terrible disease, so... Rest in peace. And also... Uh, Jimmy Valiant... Jimmy Valiant? Oh, I'm going to hell! I'm going to hell! Uh, Jerry Valiant has died. And... Jimmy... J Jerry Valiant... Was uh, more well known for his WWF Tag Championship days with his wrestling brothers, Jimmy and Johnny. That's why I said Jimmy, sorry, my bad. Um, so, it's never good to talk about anyone dying, especially on this show, especially with Liam, because he'll just start laughing or play, go if you close your eyes. So, um, on behalf of everyone on the Supla, uh, thank you very much. For everything you've done for the business, and our thoughts and condolences do go out to the families at this tragic time. So, sorry. Now, I'm actually really scared, because I'm on my own, and I've got through half the news, because there's no one else to talk to. So, I'm going to talk about something that I did for this show. As you may or may not know, in our last episode, we gave away a TNA DVD, and the winner of that was Tim! I believe Tim hasn't got the DVD yet, we're sending it ASAP. Um, but, I've also created a Gmail account, which I forgot the password to, so, <laughs> we have a Hotmail account now, and we'll give you the email address in the description, or wherever Keelan posts things on the show. And that way you can email us any questions or anything you want us to talk about on the show. Especially when I'm running through the news in about two seconds. Just blitzing through the entire news. But, oh well, what can you do? So, moving on. WWE have recently trademarked the terms NXT Rookies, WWE Brew, and A-List. Um, the NXT Rookies, I think, makes a little bit of sense. A-List, I think, is a... Uh, the name of the Otonga guy from NXT, and WWE Brawl, well, I hope that's not, like, a pay-per-view name. WWE Brawl, for all. Ah, not that again, oh god, oh god, not that. You just see a boxing, you just see a boxing tournament, dun, 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 dun. this right here is what you call domination. I did not realise, and here's a fun fact for any Super fans, the Brawl for All theme is the background music for Ezekiel Jackson's theme song. I did not know that until now. Now I feel dirty each time I listen to Ezekiel Jackson's theme. Yeah. So, 
I don't know what to do. Should I wait for Liam to come back? Should I not wait for Liam to come back? Oh well. Uh, I'm also 19. Yay! Send me happy birthday messages and money. That'd be good. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Hmm. So, how are things, people? <laughs> oh, God. I'm now just talking to my screen. Ah, I hate my life. So, uh... Where's Keelan gone? Keelan. No, actually, Keelan's gone on. Uh, well, he's going to be on the radio from uh, Manchester radio station. So if you live in Manchester and you haven't missed it, I, I, I would say go listen. Support us because, you know... We're like one big WWE universe. Is it me, or is it each time they say WWE universe in like a promo, like any wrestler that says, "Yeah, I love WWE universe," I just die that board side. So, um, okay. Well, wow, this show has been a complete train wreck. <laughs> All because of me. Oh well. Um, I would find other news, but, you know. I don't know where to find other news. Ah! Dead air! Yeah, it's always fun. Shit, I gotta keep talking. Oh no. This is going so wrong. Why did we choose to do the super on a day where A. Keelan is busy? Liam's busy. Now I'm on my own. Ah, oh, fuck my life. This is why we need some form of a chat room or something. Because I, fuck, I, I don't know what to talk about now. Ah. Uh, have another look. Ah, yes, thank God. Right, creatively, WWE might have a problem on their hands with WrestleMania. Um, the WrestleMania Money in the Bank ladder match is still happening. But in July, there's a Money in the Bank pay-per-view. It's likely that the winner at WrestleMania will cash in the briefcase before that event. Or then again, WWE don't seem to know what events they want to be doing at any one time. Maybe. Who knows. But, talking of Money in the Bank, Michael Cole let slip during the Thursday episode of WWE Superstars that there would be ten competitors in Money in the Bank. And that the final competitor will be added Raw on Monday. Unless it's already been done, which I've got that funny feeling it has. And I think that place goes to Drew McIntyre. But basically, Michael Cole is a dickhead. Oh my god. Uh, oh, okay. Wait. Wait. Right. Wait. 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 I fucking said wait. Wait. Oh, hang on. Hello. Hello. Hey. Yeah, I. I've come <coughs> to ruin the Andy Quan show. Yeah, this 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 show, the Andy Quan show, was a train wreck. Uh, Why? Because I didn't know what the fuck to say after time. It was like dead air, dead air, more dead air. Well, you make stuff up. You you had the perfect opportunity to get back at me for all the times I've said you've had sex with a twelve year old. Oh, I you haven't. Music. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what? <laughs> you had the perfect opportunity to get back at me for that. I was gone like five minutes. You could have ripped the shit out of me. Oh, well. And I couldn't have done anything about it, except maybe edit it in post and make you say random stuff that you would later regret. But no, dead air. That's all you did. You're an idiot. So, bro, Right. So I'm going to give everybody an update on my dinner. I did talk Basically, about the what I've got right now... I've got chips, right. British chips, not the American chips. Those aren't chips, they're crisps. But I've got British oh, chips. Okay, no, no, they're the American Americanized. Well thing. Oh, Americans are stupid. Oh, God, don't say that. Half our food Americans are, are stupid no, and I don't no, no, respect no. them. Disclaimer. They are. Dis oh, shit. Disclaimer. Um, the views that we express on this show is not the same as WrestlingTruth.com. And Andy Kwan. It's and mine and Andy Kwan's opinion no, on everything. No, it's not Andy Kwan's American, opinion of America! Right, can I just say, Americans... No! no. <laughs> okay, so Shut what up. is a sad walk? There is no such thing as a sad hey, walk. It's a pathway. Okay? Bro. 
Secondly, it's a, a diaper. It's just not a diaper. It's not a word. It's a diaper. It's a nappy. Okay. Shut and then the one that really annoys me is the chips crisps oh, debate. Right? God. They call crisps oh. chips, and then they call chips fries. But we call chips chips, <laughs> and we call crisps crisps. And we started the English language, oh, right? It, it, that's why it's called English. It's not called Americanish. Right, it's not, there's no such language as Americanish. It's English, therefore they should speak English, and therefore it is chips, not fries, and it is crisps, not yeah, chips. Fries, you are all yeah, stupid. Fries, America is fries. stupid. Fries American are residents are stupid. Yeah, and I'm yeah, but I still call them chips. I You're them stupid. Chips. I mean, shut I've up. Chips here. So, bro, They're the thin chips. The American up, style stop chips. But, sorry, else. the you American style have. fries. But these are chips. Right, Brett okay. has been advertised as a bar <laughs> They are chips. Shut not up. fucking. Shut and then up. they have. And then they have like jello and ja jam, right? They call. Right, they call. What do they call jam? Right, we have jam over here, but they call jam. Jam. What do they call? Jam, did you no. say jam? We have jet. No, it is. Right, listen. It's. We have j uh, jelly, but they call it jello. And then we have jam, and they call the jam. What is jam. it? Jam. They call the jam jelly. They call jam jelly. And then they have gel jello, which is our jelly. It doesn't make sense. Fucking call Americans are retards. Canadians aren't any better. French Canadians are the worst. They're like French people who don't want to admit they're French. <laughs> if you're French, you are the bottom of the bottom. You're as bad as Hitler. If you're oh friend. my god. Here's what? a disclaimer. Every opinion that this fuck card says is not the same as me or WrestlingTruth.com. If you want to lynch him, by all means, kill him. So Bret Hart is being advertised as part French of WWE. Shut the fuck up. I've been trying to say this same piece of news for the past five minutes. Shut the fuck up. Bret Hart is being advertised as part of WWE's tour of Germany after WrestleMania. Well, they're breath of mine. They just think they're strong. They're special enforcer rolling the main event matches between Asia <laughs> and Chris Jericho. And then they're always... There's a, if you look in France, it's always just full of mimes. What are they going to do? Mind me to death. What? And then there's America who just... America who bloody are so stupid they put in fucking George W. Bush. And then there's Canada. Now, Canada's not too bad, even though what I said about them, they're not that... Good. Canada is like if America was what it was meant to be, and that's British. So Canada's all right, except the French Canadians. French Canadians are scum. They're worse than normal French people. Now, what was it gonna go? I forgot. Yeah, so the Americans will probably just be like, "Oh, Girl, we don't you like that." <laughs> <laughs> so you can't do it. <laughs> So yeah, basically, the Americans would just be like. Good chips. Bret Hart is being advertised as part of WWE's tour, Jeremy. All right, basically, Bret Hart's gonna be around after WrestleMania. They're chips. Oh fuck! I'm gonna quit the show in a minute. All right, I'll stop. Americans are scum. Okay. <laughs> is being okay. advertised. Is it me or is the whole Brett Harvest is Vince McMahon thing stupid? Because Brett just looks like a total bitch all the time. It's like, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I've got a bad leg. I don't want to fight you. Alright, I'll fight you. Alright. Da 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 da. I'm gonna do my pose. Like, what the fuck's that about? Yeah, he's French Canadian, isn't he? No, he's. T I don't know and I don't care. Yeah, well, French Canadians are scum. Why the fuck does it matter if he's French Canadian or what? What happened? Oh, who cares? Shane McMahon was recently at a media summit in Abu Dhabi, where he was quoted saying, "You have to go where the money is." Okay. And that's not America. That's not America. It's definitely not France. Right. France we we stuff. okay. We got through all the news eventually after. 48 minutes of you ranting about other countries. Fuck's sake. So let's start with the segments then. I'm like your granddad. I'm like your granddad. I just sit there and just complain about every country. 
Yep, you, yep, yep, pretty much. Australians are full of bloody... Australians are full of criminals. America is fat. Oh my god, Canada... we're going to hell. Right, another disclaimer. Canada's Liam right. Dunn is a retard. Liam Dunn <laughs> is, uh... He's, he, he'll be he'll be back in the home where he lives uh, very soon. Just ignore him. Okay, so WrestleMania then. French Canadians are bad. Shut Normal up. French people right, are bad. I'm going. I can't take this anymore. All right, I'll stop. Okay, so Germany still hails Hitler. Sorry, I'm, I'm going. That's it. No, stay. I can't take it anymore. Come on. Can't take it. All right, the Liam Dunn show. So basically, Andy Cohen had sex with a twelve-year-old. I hail back now. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> what? I need to get you back. What the fuck? No, that didn't happen. Oh, so he didn't have sex, apparently. I did. No, stop! With a 12-year-old? No, okay, fair enough. No. So, WrestleMania, the boring Drew McIntyre is now going to be a part of Money in the Bank. Oh, well. So, that happened. Drew so, McIntyre, uh, now... wasn't he the guy who helped out Tommy Dreamer? No, that was... That was... Drew McIntyre. Colin Delaney. Delaney. Oh, yeah! They should bring him back. No, they really shouldn't. He was epic. He had the greatest heel turn in the world. For no reason. It was just the worst thing ever. And then he just gets released. Yeah, exactly. That's why it was awesome. Well, we're going to now um, move I think on. That was, I think it was a conspiracy. I think Osama Bin Laden was like, I want to get Colin Delaney for my own wrestling promotion. So that's what he did. He hired Colin Delaney from WWE. Because Osama Bin Laden... After 9-11, the summer bin Laden was in the money, baby. Wonderful. So now, we are going oh, to... Summer bin Laden is like WWF. And Saddam Hussein was like WCW. And now look at Saddam Hussein. He's dead. Exactly. Saddam Hussein was WCW, the terrorist world. Okay, he, so he now... He was flashy at first, I'm but then the storylines... Just... Now, let's say I've had enough of this conversation. But the storylines would just suck. And then Osama bin Laden just came in with, like, the Attitude Era and just fucking ponies everybody. So, uh, the Iron Sheik, well, he does use the internet, so, as long as he does, we'll have this segment, it is, Sheiky Twitter, Sheiky Twitter, why the fuck are you on the internet? So, um, one of the things that he posted on Twitter this week is, anyone, come have sex with me to go to the thesheikyshow.com and I fuck your ass and make you humble. I respect the Lady Gaga. I love Shiki. Who want to come have the sex with me? I put you in camel clutch first, then fuck you. <laughs> I'm not joking. Hulk, and he's Shiki also said gone. this, he's also said this. Hulk Hogan faggot. Well, just randomly, by itself. Yeah, by itself. And he's changed his background as well to Jack Black holding up the World Heavyweight title behind him while he's on the microphone. Jack Black? Yeah. The Jack Black? Yeah, the Jack Black. As in Tenacious D's Black Jack. Yes! Jack Black. Black Jack. That's, a, that's <laughs> yeah. a porno name. Yeah. So, Weirdo. that was Sheiky Twitter, Sheiky Twitter, he's a twat, go on. Uh, well, he's, he's just, he's like, whoring himself out now as well. He's like, do you want to have sex? No, Sheik, I don't. <laughs> Does he really think people are just going to go, oh, yes, well, probably, actually, yeah, that might be yeah, some people. Might, yeah, see it <laughs> God, these onion rings are good. Do you want one? No. Um, so now, we may have, we may have already talked about Sheamus, but oh well. This is Sheamus Watch. Right, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa Before Sheamus. we play your theme, hang on. You've been talking about Sheamus behind my back. It was an accident. We accidentally brought him up. And you are not allowed did. to say his name until the segment. That is, uh, that we is forgot. Incredible. We were going through what happened on Raw, and I may have mentioned well, Sheamus. Well, you call him Casper then. He looks like a ghost. He looks like a ginger ghost. <laughs> He's a ginger ghost. <laughs> he does. He matches with the canvas. Shabbat. You're not allowed to say his name again. All right, go.
Sheamus. And that was Seamus Watch. Seamus. version of Seamus watch ever. <laughs> now we can actually have this segment. Where's Keelan? Where's Keelan? Where's Keelan gone? <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, no. Keelan's gone to do the radios. Stuff. With the radios, the Pokemon. Uh, 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 so yeah, he's on the radio. He's actually being interviewed by Osama Bin Laden himself. Oh, for God's and, sake, you're uh, calling the Manchester Radio, oh, fucking hell, that's it, we pissed so many people up today, <laughs> we are going to cancel. I've uh, been missing half the show as well, I am awesome. Uh dear, so, basically... He's getting yeah. ideas for terrorist plots off Keelan, I'm sorry Keelan, no, that was a bit too hard, I can't, <laughs> I, I, no. We're going to die at this rate. I, I know Keelan, so I can't really say that. He's getting terrorist plots off uh, Gordon Brown. There you go. There you go. Wow. Um, so, Walmart. Who is in Walmart? Da 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 Walmart. Yeah, that's, that's the new theme from Walmart. I just made it up from Copacabana. Don't ask me how. So Copyright! You just still sold somebody's copyright. I'm now gonna have to fucking do some copyright shit for that. Well done. Well fucking done, num nuts. It's my birthday. Leave me alone. I don't give a fuck if it's your birthday. You're a terrorist and you're French. What? What the fuck are you talking about? You're French. You're the scum of the earth. I'm not French. You're a terrorist. What's wrong with exactly. You? Who would want to admit they're French? Point proven, Andy. Thank you very much. I, I still do, Maurice. What's wrong with you? Whoa, 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 whoa. So what? She's French Canadian, isn't she? Because yeah, exactly. So you would not touch her with a barge pole. <laughs> with my barge pole. If yeah. she was American, if she was American, maybe. But she's French Canadian. Andy, that's the worst of the worst. I'd rather you wanted to go out with Hitler. <laughs> oh God damn it! What the fuck? Why did I laugh? <laughs> why God? Why? <laughs> why? So, Walmart. Who's in Walmart? Well, it's the same people, so, uh... Keelan. Keelan's there. Keelan's are now at Walmart. <laughs> Keelan's there. <laughs> That's where Keelan, Keelan is. Just walked Keelan just walked in. Like... Keelan walked in going, yeah, uh, guys, uh, do you want a job? And Kostov <laughs> was like, no, I like Walmart. I like singing. <laughs> <laughs> where are my keys? I lost my phone. Phone. And then Maria walks you know, in and joins in and goes, Where are my keys? I lost my phone. <laughs> my name is Maria. Yeah, Maria. Yeah. That's how she sings, so it's, it's fine. No, it is. It's true. That's how she sings. I think we should have another rendition of Kozlov Sings. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, then. Kozlov Sings, Grand Van Damme's theme. Do it. Yes, let's do it. Run, run, don't worry, wait, 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 oh, that, that, what the fuck was that? I need a, <laughs> hello, I like Kozilov, that's his voice, there you go. Fuck, I was just doing a random voice. And then I'll do, <laughs> then I'll do, then I'll do the TNA one, yeah, fuck it, copyright, oh, bollocks. Go. Run, run, down. I like the run, run, down. he's good, he's a whole epic show, I like show, I like run, run, down. I like epic shows, it's good. I like double double E. I like DNA Terminator. I like double double E. Van Terminator. Van Terminator. Van Terminator. Van Van Fuck. 
this theme is awful. I'm sorry. It's like, <laughs> you, you, you know when a theme is really that bad. When you have the, the moves that you do in the background of your song. <laughs> it's like, please, for fuck's sake. It'd be like Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Um, yeah. Leg P drop. Finger poke of doom. Leg poke drop. Of doom. <laughs> It'd be like, it'd be like Jeff Jarrett. My world, I'm Jeff Jarrett. I hit people I over. Guitars. I don't play them. I just hit them over the head with a yeah, Jeff Jarrett. Right, just it's like John Cena. John Cena's scene would literally just be I do stuff and then I do a leg drop and then I do an F you. No wait, shit can't say that on live TV. Da -da. I do adjustment thingy with jiggy and then that's it. Okay. That's the entire thing. So let's sing the new TNAP. Sing along if you know the words, because no one does. I am. I am. Why the fuck was that voice? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm well, you your damn look. I'm Chief Stu. <laughs> <laughs> right, I can't do cross off voice. I don't know why, I can't do it now. I like double double E. I like double double E. I can't, I can't sing it because the theme is Don't so say you've lost the Kozlov I'm, voice. I'm, I'm really sorry, Super fans, but I've lost the Kozlov voice. No! No! Liar. Yeah, Fan Terminator! Oh, that's what's in it! Oh, no. No, no, uh, no, uh, no, not the cookie song. Does that mean we not have an Arnold Schwarzenegger oh, moment? No, no, no. Put that, put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that, put that, put that, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that cookie, put that, put that, put that cookie down, 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 cook it down, down, cook it down, put that cookie down now. Put that, put that cookie, put that cookie down. Right, we'll leave it. I love that song so much. Hate that song. <laughs> Why did I have to mention? What? You know who? It's like Voldemort. You can't mention him. Right. <laughs> right. Let's try the TNA theme now again. Oh man. I like TNA Impact. I like weird break. music. It's not break. It's not I am. Um, I am Godzilla. Sent by the future. I like future. I like all my greed and power. I like power. And it's running through my veins. I like things. I like Rod Perry. There's Daphne. There's Eric Bishop. There's Hernandez. I like I like Christopher Daniels. Oh my God, 3D. I like AJ Styles. Oh my God, we're Shisha. Oh my God, I like this. Oh my God, what's going on? Oh my God. I like good and good. I like Rob Gogan. I like DNA Impact. I like everything. Yeah, that will do. <laughs> it runs so fast. I can't fucking keep up. <laughs> so... I'm just going back onto Shiki's Twitter, mm -hmm. and there's one here that says the sports at the spo sports hernia. He disrespect world champion at red carpet with my agents. At Page Magin, he no good Jew Mexican son of a bitch. This guy has some serious issues. Yeah, yeah, he has got issues. Why has Jack Black got the world title? I don't know. Now. Talking of things, now we're going to debut a new segment on the Super because clearly we need more because this show has gone far too quickly. It is Andy versus Liam. Hi. Okay, so what does this mean, Liam? Because I actually don't know. I don't either. Well, there you go. Look forward to that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Basically, the rules are: if you are over five foot five, you win. Andy, how tall are you? Five foot one. I lose. I lose. <laughs> I lose. I said to the future, TNA, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, weird seizure things and shit. Oh, that was a good dinner, man. That's what she said. So. All right now. Okay, the Liam versus Quan segment. I wanted to debut this this week, okay. but I couldn't because Keelan's obviously had to go off and <coughs> prepare for his um, <coughs> radio interview. 
And it was supposed to be a three-man thing, because it was supposed to be a trivia thing between me and Quan to see who knows the most. Uh-huh. With Keelan, with Ke- Keelan playing as the uh, question master. But of course, Keelan's gone. <laughs> and I just burped. <laughs> oh, no shit. No one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... That's kind of what the plan was, but then it all kind of fucked up on probably the worst episode of the Soup Player in history. But this one. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be well, the worst one we've done ever. Because, I don't know, look, we had a really good one that went on for like four hours, and I don't know why. We're about to do a show. But this week, we just lost the will to live. This show is almost as bad as French Canadians. Oh my god, will you stop talking about things like that? What? So It is, it's nearly as bad as French Canadians. Um Yeah, okay, well, Americans uh, Americans no, are not wait, bad. Wait, wait, wait. In comparison to French Canadians. French Canadians are just like what the fuck man? Stop sending me stuff off over Skype. Oh questions! Yes, I do have a question. <laughs> What the fuck? Alright, the... this one's... Wait a minute. Sounds like a door's closing. What? Okay. What's going on? Wait, what's, what's going on? Something's happening! It's... It's Sting! It's Sting! Oh my god, it's Sting! Oh, oh no, it's scaling. Does it work? Oh my god! Oh my god, he's oh back! God. Do you sound, oh do I sound properly? Oh my god, he's back! He it's found Keelan! He's re- he has come back from Walmart! Oh, no. He's back from Walmart! So how was Walmart? Pretty shit. He doesn't then. get the joke. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hello, I'm back. So how was Walmart? Hello. Oh. Ah, oh, see what we did there? Hey See? Are we now, good? um. <laughs> yeah, so questions. We, <laughs> <laughs> we we oh, we do ha- we do have uh, we do have one question. We do have one question. Okay, it depends what the um, question is. Okay, the first question is from Amy, and she asks, "Why does Quan sound like a faggot?" Well, basically, Amy, Quan can't really help it because he's about <coughs> no, he's five foot one and he's really gay. Wait a minute, who, who sent this question? A girl called Amy. Where is this? Is on Wrestling Truth? No, this was sent to my personal message box on Facebook. <laughs> I didn't even put up a mailbag, what are you on about? Exactly. Why, this is, why does Quan this is on... sound like a faggot? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is guns on his truth. Are you joking? Right, I'm going on yours right <laughs> now. Liam Dunn. No, it was it was sent through personal message. You're sh- you're shitting me. No, it was it was through a personal message. Here's a quan here's a question for the sweet Why does Quan sound like a faggot? <laughs> I'm gonna admit it made me laugh. Fuck and then there's you. another one. There was another one from a girl called Charlotte saying, why, why is Quan really short? Right, and so I this said, this is okay, years. this is a wind up, you're winding <laughs> me up. No. And then there's another one from Rich saying, I love the Quan, he made me respect the Haiti. Which isn't really a question, that's a statement. <laughs> Have you done cheeky Twitter yet? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And then we got one from Nathan saying he wants to make love to the Quan, which is a bit odd. And then we got a question, we got a question, we got a question from Chris. Saying, uh, do you think that Keelan will can beat up the Quan? And I say, I can. I think a snake with no arms <coughs> could beat up the Quan. Hence, why he got beaten up by a fridge a few weeks ago. Uh, Kim asks. Me into this. Kim asks, why does the Quan have a small penis? I said, I don't know. Uh, Laura said, I'm just, why? I'm, I'm, ju- I'm just noticing. I'm getting feedback on the recording. See- I can, when you speak, the, the the little thing goes up. So That's fine, I'm sure I can voice. edit it. <clears throat> I'm sure I can edit it. Uh, I got another question from Laura saying, Why does a Quan keep phoning me? And I'm like, I don't know, he's a bit weird. It's my birthday and then Gemma- tomorrow! Fuck you! People! <laughs> <laughs> Assholes! Do these they people exist, ask- Liam? No, they do. Check my Facebook. Uh, and then Gemma asks, ass. no, <laughs> Bob and Tom and John and Joe. <laughs> and Jerry and Bob, you don't have friends. How the fuck can I exist? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, two can play this game. <laughs> then uh, Jova says, why does the Quan keep phoning me as well? I'm like, I don't know, ask Laura. Um, <laughs> then, oh, 
No, hang on. No, that's it, that's it. Oh, no, wait, we got one from Josh saying uh, healing is the man, which, again, isn't really a question, it's more of a statement. Well, not, not truly. <clears throat> Jack says the Quan likes penis oh, up so his bum. conveniently, someone that, that afterwards says, I love penis. Is that it? No! I don't like penis at all. Ben says he seconds the fact that Quan likes penis. <laughs> John says Quan can suck on his penis any night of the week. Leon says he wants to take the Quan back round the stage. Or I don't really quite understand what he means by that. What the fuck is going on? Oh, Joel, Joel has a, a serious question. Um, he said, next year's Royal Rumble seems like it could be open to anybody. Do you think the Quan will come in and beat everyone up and win the Royal Rumble? And I yes! said no. I think no, because Quan uh, is too small. Rey Mysterio won! Yeah, but you're shorter than Rey Mysterio. Fuck off! <coughs> you're lighter than too. Booyooka! Well, this is ben... not a show where we just talk shit. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Booyooka! So, Keelan, yeah, is there a. Uh, there... Tell us more about this uh, show that you're doing tonight. Yeah, we mentioned it by times. People now. Well, well, tonight, which won't be tonight to the people listening, but you'll probably be able to get it on podcast. I am on Manchester Radio Online, and I will be discussing WideShirt.co.uk and the general state of the world at this time. Can I listen to this live? Can I? Can I come in and just? I, I think I think you can, but I can't seem to get it to work. So I have no idea what <laughs> the guy's saying until he rings me up. Okay. Can I? Can I? Go, go to I, manchesterradioonline.com Can I phone in and say that French people are the scum of the earth? Can I phone in and say French people are the scum of the earth? Well, they are. What did you just say? French people, they are the scum of the earth. French people? Don't French them. people. He's been saying things like Canadians are As if you're from France. Oh, God, Liam, please no. stop. <laughs> please stop talking. So, do we have any real questions this week or not? Yeah, um, Oliver asks. Yes, but Bob, Bob Jeff says. Jeff says, <laughs> stop mocking Oliver me. Oliver asks, like why does a quan keep phoning me? <laughs> yeah, Jeremy Poirot. What's going on in the first five minutes? Send me a text <laughs> message, he said. Yeah, Vladimir Kozlov. Vladimir Kozlov Sting says, stop doing Dixon impressions of me, you gay faggot. <laughs> I. I fuck you in the ass yeah, and make you hungry. So no, that's yeah. cheeky, sorry. Yeah. It's, I don't know how you can get easily confused, but somehow you just did. Yeah. Mm. I think they sent the text together. I, I love to see Quan meet the Sheik. To pay into like a PayPal account and raise funds so I can meet the Iron Sheik and go, I could make you humble. Let's see what he says. <laughs> I could probably. I could, I do, it. probably get Let's into do it! Do it for the I just don't know if we could handle all that shakiness. I'd be like, does oh, your god have been large and like the current status of WWE? You fucking moron. That's not his. Iran, Iran is not Afghanistan. Oh, wait. Now. Yeah, Iran and Iraq are different going to war because of different. Was it Manchester? Lessons, wait, wait, sorry. If, if anyone from Manchester Radio listens to this show, then, uh, you know, my, my other website's down the toilet. So. Alright, and I think that's the end of the show. Goodbye! Are you ready for the best damn of your life? Give me the hell, give me a yell! Stand up right now and give me the hell, give me a yell! Stand up right now, get ready to go! She ain't moving slow! Go if you close your eyes, your lies and the truth reveal. Straight you never lived in something, something heals. Da 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 da